In the last video, I uh, showed you how to use the section settings. We also covered icons previously. We covered the preview, um, how to pick templates, how to save project, how to undo and redo your changes. And now I think we're just going to move on to uh, we're going to move on to building a new page. So you're going to come over here to manage pages. We're going to hit add a new page and boom, you're going to start blank. Now let's say you wanted to have this page again and you just want to manipulate it maybe. Go ahead and click duplicate there. It's going to pump it out right here. It's going to say new page one uh, because we already actually have one named new page. So we're going to actually name this one since it's a copy of the index. We'll name it index one. We'll hit apply, but we're actually going to focus on the new page here and we're going to focus on the sections this time instead of the template so let's say you're going through the templates you're like mm, you know what I don't really like all this I think I just want to build my own that's perfectly fine that's what the sections are here for so you can either click right here start with sections or come over here to add section they both will pull up the same thing so we'll hit start with sections here and maybe we want to build it bottom to top top to bottom want to build it from the middle starting with the features it's going to have that is completely up to you but I'm just going to show you all the things you can put in there so when you click on all sections it's going to give you literally all the sections and it splits it up into the different categories the titles the content you know the uh, headers so we're just going to go through each individual one these are your headers and I'm just going to drag and drop one from each section to show you what it's kind of like to build your own here. And so, uh, let's say I like this one. It's simple. It's small. I'm going to throw it in at the top here. Uh, okay, I'm going to exit that. Okay, I like how that looks. We'll go ahead and keep it. Uh, that's just a header, though. Uh, I, let's say I want an intro in here as well. Mm, okay, yeah, I kind of like how, you know, I kind of like how simple this one looks. Throw this one in here. Okay, that's nice, yeah. So, okay, I have my header, have my intro. Let's throw in a slider, actually. Throw it in below here. Now, a slider is where you can change the images, and that way you can include more than just one singular image uh, within a gallery on your site. And so, we're going to come down to features here. Maybe you want to describe the product that you have, list all the features that it has. Sure. Throw it in right below the... Ooh. I think it went back there. There we go. So there's that. List all the features that it's got. I come down here to the titles. Um, hmm. And it looks like this is just literally a title for whatever you're doing. So maybe I want to throw that above. The features maybe I want to introduce it right here so maybe I want to say you know 250,000 downloads on theme forest and then right here all my features of theme forest so yeah that would be an, a great way to do that so content here boom go ahead throw that in there change it to however you want this looks like the new iPhone I believe <laughs> So yeah, you can change this image to whatever you want here. It'd be a great way to display content. Uh, videos, you can actually throw videos in here too. And so let's say you want a video section. Let's say you want to show the world that YouTube video you just made and you want to put that on your website. You can do that. Boom, there it is. So it's got the embed right there. It actually has the Vimeo embedded right there. So yes you can integrate videos to your website which is awesome you can also use countdowns so right I think this is actually a countdown here it looks like days hours minutes seconds we're gonna throw in the other one though yeah I, you know maybe that sections too big so it's actually the same thing <laughs> but uh, you can set this timer right here so you know, let's say you're having a sale, it only lasts for the next three days and 10 hours, 15 minutes. 
you can set that right there and it's going to track it for everybody that hits the site that way they can see it forms maybe somebody needs to get a hold of you or they need to inquire something with you great they can just enter their name address here boom hit subscribe for newsletter they're going to get thrown right into those contacts that we talked about already and you're going to have their contact information just as easy as that so here's your gallery actually so we talked about the slide already it's a little different than a gallery the gallery is going to display all your images you know or all the icons whatever you want to throw in here up to you uh, next is the testimonials and we're just going to throw in a testimonial let's say we want to show the world how great our product is but we want to do it through user reviews okay, let's go ahead and throw in some testimonials here and you can change this you know to however you can change these icons those people's faces that gave you those great reviews you know you can say via Google via Yelp whatever you know meet our awesome customers literally manipulated to whatever you want it to say uh, here's the clients tab uh, let's go ahead and throw this in right beneath the testimonials so you know maybe you've worked with a few companies you want to show it off okay go ahead throw the coke logo Hyundai Cisco Unilever perfect all right there ready to go but maybe maybe we want to push something so let's have a call to action let's have a button that does something cool throw it in right here so maybe we're selling a product or something let's say you know this plant right here <laughs> this plant grows like never before so you know let's let us show you the best plant in the world purchase today and then it's going to have a link to purchase this plant right here. And eventually, I think there will be payment integration within Funnelbolt. But as of the day I'm recording this, there is not. So I will definitely make a video in the future, hopefully very soon, if payment integration is coming. So stay tuned for that one. Then we have the accordions here. Okay, so, and it looks like these are both about having questions pretty much. Uh, I haven't really touched on this one much within my own pages. So, you know, do what you want with that. Uh, also, there's like a team page. So, instead of like doing a testimonial page, you can have like a team page. Like, okay, this is everyone on our team. So, you know, Sarah Smith, you know, she's awesome. She's our, you know, CMO. And here's... Antoine Delman and he's our you know CEO great you know tell the world that on your website show them off uh, then we have pricing tables so here are the pricing tables actually but I think payment integration has yet to come like I've said but you can build out stuff like this so you know save money awesome prices um, so 10 bucks small plan 15 you know change that to whatever you need it to be and that way it's clear that people know what you're trying to sell them on um, maybe maybe you also want them to follow you on the process okay throw in a few social icons link your Facebook Twitter Instagram and whatever that is I'm not sure I haven't seen it before or just take it out that's fine so that is the social tab there and then we're gonna go down to the frequently asked questions tab um, so maybe at the bottom of your website Maybe they got all the way down to the bottom. Uh, they've read all your information. They still got a really specific question or something they're unsure about. Okay, that's fine. Well, then put your most asked questions down here. Maybe, maybe it'll be answered by the time they get to here. So, and if not, that you could put a form to have them submit their question. The possibilities are literally endless. And so to finish off our page, let's just throw in a footer down here that kind of says like, hey, like maybe you want to show off uh, you build it with funnable maybe you want to throw in your logo here or maybe you want to just copyright uh you know 2019 your company all rights reserved you want to have your privacy policy here and your um, blog 
you know, you can do that. Link your blog and stuff down here, pages, which I'll also show you how to do. Um, but yeah, so maybe you have the contact us, your address, phone number, find us on social networks again, maybe. Um, whatever. But there you have a full website. And you've built it yourself. You've put in all the individual sections. You've changed it to what you want. And that is how you use the section builder within Funnable Landing Page Builder. So we're going to go ahead and save it and move on.